we have we have to you have to remember all these settings otherwise you're gonna mess up here okay now we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna put a couple beads around building our stack up about the height that we think we're gonna need for that fitting so we're just gonna spend a couple of loops around here Sometimes I'll stop like that and then I'll come in from the other direction because I really can't see the edge and I don't want to I don't want it to roll over. I want it, I want to be able to be in control. And if I can't see it and I don't know what's going on, then I've got to stop and approach it from another way. Okay? Now that we've made a couple passes there, we got to fill in the middle. You always make sure that you're washing in from the side. So you don't get a pocket in the middle. And if you think you got a pocket in there, then you stop and you grind it down till you get in there. And if you got it, you do. And if you don't, you're gonna be okay. See how nice and glossy that ball is still? I'll do a close up on cleaning up the tungsten. Um, I just wasn't, I wasn't thinking about it right away. And, and I just caught it at the last minute <clears throat> when I saw the tungsten hadn't been dressed off yet when I first started. But I'll give a close up with the camera so you can actually see the action of the dirty material and the cleanliness of the ball when it's put against a piece of steel like that. Okay, now you can see I'm starting to come in a little bit. I need to keep it broad. If you take a straight edge and come up from this thing, I'm actually coming in and I'm about an eighth of an inch in from the diameter I actually want to be. So now I got to come around this outside edge with a bead. You have to, you have to switch hands.
You can see I'm not as coordinated, just switching it in the middle of the stream here. Come back there, make sure that you get that melted in there just right. Okay, that's looking pretty good. I salvaged it. <clears throat> you know, we're going to be coming around with this thing on a side and hitting that, but you want to maintain pretty much the height. I, we're only about, we're probably only about halfway up from where we need to go. Okay, I'm going to take a little break. Okay. Looks like we got about maybe three or four more passes vertically and then, uh, then we can go ahead and just kind of dress it around the side. Want to make sure I got the lens on. Okay. Yeah, if you pause, if you pause on this elite helmet, you have to turn it on every time you want to use it. I think that was one of the things I didn't really care for. Now I see I'm almost vertical on this side here, but I'm sloping out that way on this side here. I can see that without putting a straight edge on it. So I know I'm gonna be adding some more in around this side over here. And this is kind of my weak side, but let's go ahead and see if we can do a left hand.
Okay, now the one thing about this whole project is that building up things like this, it's better to be looking at it than looking for it. So I want to make sure that I'm higher than I actually need to be. And I look like I'm pretty well up in the air. I'm going to make one more pass to square it off. And I think we're going to start laying it down and I'm going to start blending in around the outside edge there to make it more uniform. Okay, I like that. All right, I'm gonna have to regroup here. Because I wanna be able to move this thing around. Okay, we've, we've built this height up until our little poppet is sitting up as high as we think we're going to need. We're looking at plenty of material there and now we're going to go ahead and we're going to start washing around the sides until we get it nice and smooth there. Okay, we're going to just get it round all the way around like that. There's going to be a lot of rolling around, so I'm probably not going to have you following the whole bit here. Okay, now before we move we want to go ahead and we want to we want to take and come above here because we're only going to roll this thing like once around here and then we should be good. Ta-da! There we are. Let me stand it up. Okay, we are, we're happy with the outcome. We've got enough on here. I'm happy with the diameter. Here's a little wrench here and just a, a skosh fatter than this all the way around, which what was what I was looking for. The height, if we put this down in here, we're about halfway up that half of that flat of the nut there. So we're definitely going to have enough material. I put it back in the vise with this line pretty well looking square again. 
Uh, actually, it's uh, it could go down just a scotch, something like that, which makes that even look better. All right. And of course, I haven't forgotten about showing you how to clean that tungsten. And uh, uh, I, at first, I was just gonna jab it right into the aluminum there, uh, just so I could get over it. <laughs> <laughs> but um, I think just thinking that uh, you know I, I didn't dip it once um, I I over flashed it when the part dropped down to the table um, but I didn't I, I didn't hit it. it it went away and it created a larger arc which gives it the explosion of energy and um, so I, I really didn't didn't have a mishap with the tungsten I this just slipped in the vise there a little bit um, I'll go ahead and spin it around for you. That's the uh, underside. The next side. There's the top. And the last side. Thank you.